here I have four colors of light bulbs green, yellow, red and blue and the working voltage is it's around 4 or 5 volts and using these very old small light bulbs I'm gonna make interesting and cool and useful gadget let's start today video all 40 small bulbs I'll pull out from this very old model of Christmas lights and take a while to pull out all 40 of them 40 plus I will tell you why to make a cool gadget which is electronic load a USB electronic load and this will be a two-in-one gadget the first will be the electronic load and my plan is to place them in five rows each row will have eight light bulbs and a switch five rows all of them together when they will be on will pull around 3.2 amperes yes th this will be a tester electronic load with USB connector that will be right here also a connector for wires the switches these are very small switches that I have it five of them five of them and at the end of this video you will find out what is the second purpose of this gadget now let's place them all solder all 40 light bulbs the switches the USB connector the connector for wires and at the end of this video I'm gonna test it I finish with the second row and just to be clear all the light bulbs are connected in parallel going through the switch for for each row I have a switch all 40 of them two rows three more to go take a look at that 40 small light bulbs in 5 rows as I said connected in parallel and for each row I have a switch so when all 5 of them are on this thing will pull around 3 amperes and will be a great and good looking electronic load ok next to attach the male USB connector and the power connector for wires Let's finish it and looking amazing. Also, I have a replacement, 
I'm gonna keep them. So it's an electronic load using small light bulbs. Control it with five micro switches for each row connected in parallel the light bulbs. That means all of them together will pull three. 3.2 amperes and the power source, source will be through this USB mail connector or the this connector right here. Time for testing. I'm using USB doctor, USB meter. This can handle I think 3 amperes or 4. And it's on and it's pulling 640 milliamperes the first row the second row 1.27 amperes third row 1.87 amperes so far so good and turning off that means that the USB doctor can deliver above 3 amperes but the power adapter is giving okay Turning off, turning on, reset. Let's try again. 1.8. And the last one, I turn it off. Let's try it this way. Yes, it's working 2.5 amperes. It should be 3 amperes. Maybe the power adapter is not giving enough. 12.2 watts. Whoa. This is great. Look. It's working fine. Turn up. <laughs> well, I'm gonna turn on all five rows pulling. No amperes now. Yes, this USB doctor can measure maximum three amperes. That's why it turn it off. Okay. Looking nice. I turn off the studio lights so you can see better the effect. It's Christmas again. Whoa. And do you know what is the second thing of this gadget? It produces a heat. Yes, this can be as a USB heater for those cold winter days or for camping. You can place it on your hand on the bulbs and get the heat. All right. And take a look. 60 degrees. 65. 69. And maybe it's too much heat. No. You can hold it and warm your hands like this. All right. So the first thing is the electronic load for testing USB power adapters or power banks. And the second thing of this gadget or second purpose is to give heat and you can warm your hands. But be careful. Okay. Okay using my power supply that give 5 volts and it's set on 3 amperes I'm gonna test it will it this pull 3 amperes yes 3 amperes and the voltage drops that meaning that this, this power supply can deliver more alright I need to test one more thing ok I have bigger power supply. This one can give 5 amperes, maybe more. 
and I'm going to set the voltage to 5 volts, 5.1, positive to positive, negative to negative, and look, 3.2 amperes. Great. I'm going to increase the voltage a little bit. At 6 volts, 3.5 amperes. Nice. I hope you like today's project. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. And this is simple electronic load. You can make it at home. I know that I can use a MOSFET as electronic load, but I don't want it. I need cool looking device. See ya.